Hey guys, we are back out here on Vort right now. Uh, I wanted to catch you guys up on uh, one of the issues that I'm having right now and, and kind of the whole purpose of this video today, which is replacing the uh, fuel return lines on the fuel injectors. I got a couple of fuel leaks on the um, driver's side of the engine. Um, now we're gonna fix one of them very early in the video, which is the um, fuel, uh, fuel line from the fuel pump to the fuel filter, the soft line that converts from the hard um, the hard line to the actual fuel filter itself. We're going to uh, replace that, uh, and then we're going to spend some time replacing these fuel uh, fuel return lines on the on the Humvee itself. And this is one of the old ones that I pulled off of it, and you can see on this thing it is all kinds of chewed up, eaten up. Um, I don't know if you guys can see inside that right there, uh, but it's cracked. I mean, all of the lines look like this thing does. Um, now, I, I originally, you know, posting this onto the group, um, one of the guys, and this isn't a knock on him at all. It, it, it uh, some some guys have a different perspective or perspective on this stuff and they have a different skill skill set than I do um, but I, I was referred to a uh, dorming kit it has their the exact number of lines that you need for the for the entire vehicle uh, and it includes the clips to put them on now the problem is when I reference my parts manual for my uh, m 1114 the parts manual does not reference clips for these and if I look at all of the the connectors inside the engine itself, they don't have these little clips, these little clamps on the ends of these hoses to hold it onto the fuel injector nipples. So the lines I'm specifically talking about, and I'm gonna move over here a little bit, are up here. So circled in this diagram are the fuel, are these lines that I'm talking about very specifically, and they plug into the tiny little um, nipples on the side of the, uh, the fuel injectors, and they interconnect each other for the, the return of the fuel. Um, like I was saying, these things just, they, they didn't work for me. I, I don't have the tool set to get up there and clamp these things on. Um, so, you know, talking with the group again, talking to a couple of guys, uh, and Steve, I want to call you out on this one. Um, I was referred to this, this fuel, um, to a fuel line that was made in Germany. It's got all the ratings on it. Um, you can easily see it on here and I'm going to post a link to all of this stuff in the feed here as well. Um, but this line just pushes straight on it doesn't require any clamps it's a little bit more of a firmer line so it takes a little bit more effort to get it on there and uh yeah so it it's actually a really good line i've replaced two of them now with this uh, i replaced two of them with these these other ones that i bought the dormans um and and forgive me i can't remember the name of this one here but um, i replaced a couple of them with the dormans but they still leaked a little bit so uh, I, I do know for a fact that these things don't stay on and I know I've cut off, I've made a couple out of this hose and they appear to be holding pretty good. So we're going to continue replacing them with this hose here uh, and getting under the truck. Now the other thing, uh, I'm going to reference this in the video as well, is I managed to get a, a new tool to help out with this process. So this is a nifty little tool that I picked up off MercedesSource.com I think is what it is. Um, but these guys self-developed this tool uh, and it is it's angled at the tip and it has a little channel in there that's perfect for gripping hoses and holding on to them so you can push them in if you need to or pull them out however you want and this thing literally has saved me bloody knuckles guys I cannot tell you how much this thing has saved me so I'm gonna reference this in the video as well um, but I wanted to post this really quick before we get started on this so if you guys remember I had a couple of uh, fuel leaks inside of here um, one of them being up here in the top, which we'll get to that one here in a second. And, the other, and another one that I really didn't highlight very well for you guys, but what I found out was um, it was this braided um, return line that, it, that connected the two injectors uh, on the back side here. Um, injectors was at five and or, uh, cylinders five and seven, the two injectors there. Um, this is that braided hose that connected them. And this thing is all kinds of frayed. I mean, you can't really, I mean, Smells like diesel, it's falling apart, it's crumbling and stuff like that. And the fuel is just leaking out of this thing like crazy. This one tool made it really easy. You just reach in there with it. You can grab those hoses, you can pull them off very quickly, very easily. See, look at that, came off no issues whatsoever. And then you can just take it and push it right back onto it. Um, no busting your knuckles, trying to reach in there with the set of needle nose or anything like that. It just pops right on there. Just like, oops, you can't see it, right there. Just like that. All I did was just push down on it with this little tool here. All the way down it goes. No issues whatsoever. And this tube right here, uh, this came as part of the kit that um, I, uh, that was recommended to me, the uh, replacement tubes. Uh, the other fuel leak, if you guys will remember, is from this line. Now this line connected up in here. I 
it connects this pipe right here, which goes over to the fuel pump, to the fuel filter, which is right over here in the corner over here. You can't really see it right now because there's not a good light on it. Um, pop one over there for it right there. So it connects the two of those things together. And that thing has a huge hole on it. Let me pop, get the light up here a little bit so you can see a little bit better. Let me see if I can find the end that has the hole on it. All right, so if I do this with one hand, what I got here is I got this hose and you can see right there, this line, this this crack right here was just gushing fuel out of it. Um, when I tried to do my temporary fix, I put the the uh, clamp on it and it kind of helped hold it together, but it was still leaking fuel. So I got a new fuel line. I went to O'Reilly. O'Reilly sells them by the foot. I tried AutoZone, they didn't sell any of them. Um, so O'Reilly sold the, the hose I was looking for by the foot. I bought one foot of it. The uh, technical manual says I need uh, 10 inches for it, or the parts manual does. Um, so I got this new line. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut probably two inches off of this just to kind of make it fit a little bit better inside of here. I'm going to go grab a couple of new clamps for it. And we're going to put it back on there. So hopefully with these two fixes here, that fixes my fuel leak inside the engine here. And we'll be able to start the truck and find out. Hose number one, hose connection number one is right here. So let's get it pushed on. Boom. No, no kinks in it. I think it's good. There. Getting the benefit of not having a windshield in the way here. Hmm. All right, here. Oh, we have power. Turn that off first. Let's see if I see any fuel leaks. So what I'm going to do is look up here, see if that leaking, which should not now. More importantly, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be checking this pipe down here, this uh, crossover return line between the two. Um, yeah, that's the side that I want it on. So I'm watching this this new black pipe right here. I'm checking to see if there's any fuel that comes out of that. line popped off like I knew it would. All right, so again, guys, like I said, I, I'm underneath here replacing these lines. Uh, so I'm gonna reach up here with my little tool that I just got, and I'm gonna show you guys. Right here's one of those lines right there. I'm gonna show you how easy this tool is. I'm just gonna grip it, give it a little bit of a jerk, and pull it right off. And same thing with this side. Grip it, pull it right off. Just like that, guys. It popped right off there, no issues. So now I get to get the new one, cut it up, and put it on. All right, so you guys saw the driver's side um, hose swap outs. Uh, in order to swap out anything on these cylinders, whether they be injectors or glow plugs, uh, or these, these hoses that I'm doing, uh, on the driver's side, you have to do it from underneath. Um, namely because on my M1114, I have the big honking, I'm not gonna show you, but I mean, I have the huge 400 amp generator on that thing. And it essentially covers up, essentially going from the front end of the engine here, all the way to about right back here. So it covers up that whole side of the engine. Here. On the passenger side though, uh, these things are actually really simple to grab a hold of over here. So this is the main line on the, uh, on the, the passenger side. It goes from the, 
uh, main return line that goes uh, up that way uh, and into cylinder number SSS2. Um, so cylinder two is right here and then I can keep on going back um, all the way down, all the way into the cab, swapping out these ones. Again, just like on the other side though, using my tool, I can reach down here and grab it and pull and these things pop right off. This thing is awesome. All right guys, so I got all of them swapped out now. So there's my pile of old ones. Let's see if we can start seeing fuel leaks. All right, we got her on. Very noisy in here, obviously. If I look underneath, no more fuel leaks. Yes. All right, so you guys are probably wondering what was happening with the fuel leak still. So I replaced all the hoses and I was still getting a fuel leak. It was really starting to frustrate the stink out of me. Um, so when I pulled off the original hose, and this is the one that came off of it, off the injectors that I'm, I'm looking at right now, it, it's pretty much intact. Like there, I mean, aside from it obviously being very crumbly and stuff like that on the ends and stuff, but stuck on the nipple, I guess from an old hose or something like that, was this rubber piece that had shredded off of it, and it kept me from putting on my new hose. So got that taken off all the way. I got all the hoses replaced. No more fuel leaks. I'm disgusting, I am a mess, but I can't tell you guys how excited I am for this. I got all the fuel lines replaced, all the fuel leaks fixed. Now I think I can get the brakes put back together on it and we can get it going. We can take it out and we can clean it out really good. We can pull it out in the driveway. Um, and, and at least clean it off. That's our goal now. So brakes and cleaning. Thank you guys for sticking around. Give me a like, give me a subscribe. We'll catch you guys later. Yeah.